Welcome to the Lizard Labs training module on the Energy Aware Commander. In this lecture, we will explain what the Energy Aware Commander is and how to use it. The Energy Aware Commander is a tool which is used to control the Energy Micro Starter and Development Kits. When you start this program and connect to a kit, it will display information about the kit itself and the MCU present on the kit. The Energy Aware Commander is started by clicking the shortcut in Simplicity Studio. First, connect an Energy Micro Starter or Development Kit to your computer with a USB cable. The Update Kit section is used to update the kit firmware. Whenever a new firmware version is released, you can enter the location of the new firmware image here and install the new firmware on the kit. The section labeled Board Information presents information about the kit itself. I have now connected a giant Gecko starter kit to my computer through the debug USB connector on the left hand side of the kit. When I press the connect button in Energy Aware Commander, this section will show information about the kit, like the model and firmware version. The drop down box labeled Debug Mode is used to control the routing of the debug signals from the built in JLink debugger. The default setting is MCU, which means that the debugger is connected to the kit microcontroller. If you want to use an energy micro kit to debug your own hardware, simply select Out in this dropdown, and the debug signals will be routed to the standard 20 pin debug header on the kit. The other way around, if you set debug mode to In, you can use your favorite debugging probe to debug the MCU on the kit. Just remember that you still have to power the kit MCU with a battery or the USB cable. If you for some reason should lose the connection to the EFM32 on your kit, it is always worth checking the position of this switch. The bottom section contains information about the MCU that is connected to the onboard debugger. Normally you will get details on the MCU on the kit, but if debug mode is set to OUT, you will get information about the MCU on the connected board instead. Please note that the compilation information shown at the very bottom is for the kit firmware, and not for the Energy Aware Commander itself. Next is a Flash tab. Here you can program a binary image directly to the connected device. Simply browse to the binary image, tick off the wanted options, and click Flash EFM32 to do this. Flash Erase slash Write Protection allows you to lock certain pages of the flash from being written or erased by software. Debug Lock Tools allows you to lock and unlock debug access to the EFM32. When debug access is locked, the debug interface is disabled and it is not possible to read out the flash contents with the debugger. To regain debug access, press Unlock Debug Access. When the debug access is re-enabled, the main block of flash on SRAM on the device is automatically mass erased and the device will have to be reprogrammed. Note that the user data area is not wiped. The unlock debug access feature is also very useful if you lose debug access to the device. Losing debug access can happen if energy mode 4 is entered very early in the main function. If the debug pins are disabled, or if the high frequency clock is shut off. What happens in all these cases is that the debug interface is shut off before the debugger is able to halt the CPU. Note that the unlock process is highly dependent on timing and may not work on an external MCU unless you have short debug wires and a clean routing of the debug signals. The Files tab is used for development kits only. This tool can be used to upload and delete files to the kit flash storage. The development kits have a separate flash storage intended for binary images. You can upload several pre-compiled images to this storage and then use the graphical user interface on the development kit itself to program these images to the MCU without having to connect the kit to a computer. Note that long file names are not allowed here. Files must be named in an 8.3 format. In the Demos tab, you are presented with a selection of demos for the connected kit. These demos are designed to demonstrate the different features of the EFM32 and the kit. 
the observant developer will notice that these are the same demos that can be found in the examples section of Simplicity Studio. This means that all the source code is available, so if you find an interesting feature in one of the demos, you can always see how to implement something similar yourself. A demo is started by selecting one of the demos in the list and pressing start. The commander also has a number of command line options. Open the command line and type in EA commander dash dash help to see them all. These options make Energy Aware Commander useful in scripts. For instance, the flash option can be used to directly flash a binary image to the EFM32 without having to use the graphical user interface. First, check that the target is connected by entering EA Commander dash dash MCU info. Remember that I already connected my giant Gecko starter kit previously. Then flash the image by entering EA Commander dash dash flash blink.bin. Thanks for watching this lesson from Lizard Labs. For more information, go to energymicro.com.